Hello YouTube, my name is Viper and today I'm back with a brand new video. So I'm gonna be going over the primal boss in this one. And yeah, I'm gonna be covering the boss's skills, some meta teams and some general strategies on how you can get a better and a more high score. So let's get started guys and um, currently after around two weeks of gameplay I am at Resonance 160 and uh, in my server the boss is less than 50% HP now and this is how it looks like long gaze and um, you unlock him after you finish Dark Forest 5 so um, let's take a look together so I haven't done any attempts today and I'm currently currently rank 11 so I have a pretty good idea on how to get a high score here so he's at 168 um, out of 434 what is that? 434 um, trillion, probably. Um, definitely. 4 billion is like 434 trillion gazillion HP. It's like so much HP, guys. But yeah, our server uh, is uh, almost done with him. So let's look at some of the rewards. If we can do it within 8 days, we get the maximum rewards here. Um, I don't know if we'll manage to do it. Um, but uh, we'll try. Um, our server is pretty good. So um, if uh, we're currently rank one to twenty, and we get these nice rewards, we get the the title. I hope uh, I'll be in the top twenty. Then we get these uh, Twilight Essence, which is used to level up exclusive equipment from level sixteen to twenty five. So um, let's take a look at. Uh, the uh, leaderboard so i'm in the 11th place over here 10 million damage and um, yeah, my power is at uh, almost 5 million in general here's a person with 7 million power 6 million power 6 million power 6 million power 6 million power guys so i'm um, there's 5.5 million so i'm at rank 11 with 5 million power this guy's at 24 million power guys so uh, i i do a fair amount of damage for my power so I have a good strategy here. So let's look at the uh, the boss's skills quickly. So um, the long gaze wolf, uh, he's a formidable one-eyed wolf king, skilled at hiding in mist and summoning wolf packs to attack enemies within. So his first skill uh, charges uh, dashes to the farthest target, dealing 250% damage. Uh, he deals 30% extra damage to the target beyond two tiles and summons free spectral wolves uh, if the mist exists, each dealing 100% damage. So his next skill, he deals 120% damage twice to the targets within a one tile arc, then deals 150% damage to adjacent enemies and interrupts them. So just um, a bunch of damage here guys. And this next skill, he gains 20 haste and 20% physical defense and magic defense upon defeating an enemy hero, which stacks up to 5 times. So guys, if your heroes do die, he gets more tanky. Um, he gains, uh, if um, one hero dies, he gains 20%, and if like two heroes die, he gains 40% physical defense and uh, 40 haste, and three heroes die, he'll have 60% defense increase and 60 haste. So it's it's important to make sure you heal your um, your team doesn't die. And his ultimate finally, uh, at the first 10, 40, and 70 seconds in the battle, the mist appears on the battlefield, the wolf can uh, disappear briefly before reappearing to dispel the mist within one tile. Summons the wolf pack to attack the enemies in the mist, and for each hit, he deals 30% damage and inflicts a stack of bleed for 10 seconds. Each stack of bleed deals 3% damage per second to the target up to 6 stacks. Um, so 6 stacks, that would be 18% uh, increased damage, and uh, the mist disappears in uh, 20 seconds after appearing. The wolf king has 70% chance to dodge the damage skills from enemies within the mist. So yeah, that's the skills real quick. Very important to make sure your your, your uh, enemies, um, your uh, monsters don't die. So the recommended he uh, monsters here are uh, Heaven, Healer, uh, Lucius, Coco, Smokey, Rainia. Um, I don't think Lucius, Lucius is really necessary here, uh, for the meta team at least. Then we have uh, Scarlita, Shakir, Kruger, Seth and Bala. So these are pretty good. I don't have Scarlita myself so I can't really commentate on that. But yeah, I would think she's in the meta team once you get her very high uh, ascendance, etc, etc. 
So let's go over my uh, team and what I've been using. Let's just quickly have a go here with my team. So what I'm running right now is a Smokey. I'm running just one healer. I think if uh, you're high enough uh, healer, you can use one. So my Smokey is at uh, Supreme right now. And I have him at EX Open plus 5. So uh, um, I have his uh, level 2 exclusive skill unlocked. So here, if you look at the Smokey skill, why I'm using him is um, when you have his EX weapon plus 5 and you have him at Mythic plus, he get this skill where um, he, deals, he deals damage. So the aroma will be enhanced for 10 seconds when the skill gets the third upgrade for the first time, making the enemies lose 12% uh, of the max HP. And I have him at exclusive skill level 2, which means that enemies in skill range lose 14% of the max HP during the aroma enhancement. So yeah, guys, I will show you the damage he does. And um, yeah, the, he also um, buff, buffs the attack of allies by 16%, 18% uh, once you have him level 2, and uh, recovers 8 additional energy per second for every non-ally summon. So yeah, smoke is very good on, on this team that I'm using. Next, I'm using uh, Kruger for the for the defense, physical defense break, because he if sometimes one of my heroes dies, Kruger will be able to break that defense. And I'm using also OD, uh, I have his exclusive at uh, plus 5 at least, I think it's uh, plus 8 maybe now, I'm not 100% sure. Well, let me quickly, um, I'll check later, I'll show you. So I'm using OD, he's one of my highest ascended characters and uh, very good for this boss. I would use Marily guys, but uh, she's only um, mythic right now, not even mythic plus, so OD will do more damage. And I'm using Vala guys, super good, and when... Um, the, the boss is under 50% HP now, so she would be doing a ton of damage. One of her skills, um, there she rushes to, rushes to slash the target, dealing 420% um, true damage. And here, Vala switches the sword um, mode and prioritizes, prioritizes the marked enemy if the HP is, the ratio is lower than 50%. Um, so Vala deals 40% more damages to enemies with a HP ratio higher than 50%. And in sword mode... Vela deals additional damage to enemies with a HP ratio lower than 50%. Damage equals to 10% of targets lost HP up to 300% of Vela's attack. So yeah, Vela is like super, super good for um, bosses which have uh, lower than 50% HP. So now our our um, our server beat him over, um, he's under 50%, so Vela is super good. And I'm using currently uh, CC, uh, she's also Supreme Plus for me. Yeah, guys, I recommend using your highest ascended characters while you, while um, you can in the early game, and I recommend using the star shard spell artifact. Mine is at plus ten right now, so that's the one I'm using. And yeah, let's have a go. Let's see how uh, my team does if we'll manage to beat our previous high score. So um, they're Vala ults, OD ults. So this is one of the skills, see, the wolf disappears into the mist. He does some AoE slashing. Um, and I do find that uh, one healer is enough for me. I was using two healers before. However, I realized that um, I'm lacking damage. But guys, if you are um, uh, in the early game and... Uh, you don't have a very built up units, you might need two healers. So, for example, you can be using Smokey and someone like Coco. But I'll go over some teams uh, in a moment. So, here we kind of uh, got wiped by. Uh, we didn't survive the whole time, but we did 10 million damage. Which is quite good. And we got rank 9 with that. Um, and yeah, you get pretty nice rewards. You can get hero essence from here. So here's our damage, Vala 5 million, Smokey, look at that, is the second place in terms of damage. And then uh, Cecilia and Odi and Kruger. So our our enemies kind of got um, one shot, I think we could have done more damage. Let's take a look at the damage leaderboard. But rank 9 is very nice. Um, based on my power, I'm doing like, everyone's at 5 million, 6 million, I'm at 4, um, almost 5 million, and I'm... Um, in the top 10. I'm gonna be showing you the meta team. So you would remove Cecilia and you use Smokey and Kruger and then we would take out Vala and we would be using Marily 
as well as Rainier. So something like this. Yeah, you want to be using smoke at the front. And yeah, this would be pretty much the meta team. You want Marily because of the true damage and OD because he's the second best DPS. So yeah, you can play around with this and um, you can use, for example, instead of smoke, you can use Valor, of course, when the boss is less than 50% HP. But you really want Rainier uh, at Mythic Plus for the 25% increased damage. Um, it's this skill over here. You want him on the 25% increased damage. That's why you want Rainier at Mythic Plus. So this would be the meta team, guys, and um, of course using the Star Shard spell. And yeah, guys, so uh, more free-to-play options would be um, using something like a Smokey, and then other healers you can use would be Smokey and Coco. This would be a good, uh, good team you can use, followed by OD, like this. And then you can add Cecilia, and you can add something like a Kruger. That would be a very nice team. Also, you can, um, instead of um, Kruger, you can maybe do Marilyn, or Kruger and, uh, instead of OD, Marily. Depends what your highest ascended heroes are. So yeah, that's that. Um, and I'm going to be doing another test run. So um, what I was using, let me just reset quickly. We're gonna try and beat our high score again. So Smokey, Kruger, OD, Bala, and Cecilia. Let's try and do another run. Maybe my uh, monsters won't all die this uh, this time. So if you are um, very early in the game, you should use two healers. And once you have something like a Smokey at um, EX5, you can use just the Smokey on his own. So, so far we've done half of our high score damage. And it's very nice to use this here because um, sometimes the boss targets uh, Mr. Carlisle. So um, he doesn't count as a monster that dies. So, so far we're doing quite well. Oh, and there we go, we got, um, we got insta one shot, kinda. Okay, so that's that. Okay, we have one more try. Let's try and, uh, maybe edit. Let's try and use this double hero healer comp like I was showing you. Maybe instead of Cecilia, we can use Coco. Let's see, where is Coco? over here so with that we would get four faction bonus 18 percent increased attack 18 percent hp so yeah, let's see how this does so that's four molars and one uh, stargazer sorry i mean and one uh, light bearer okay and let's go for our last attempt but we might be lacking damage we'll see how that goes so yeah, so you generally want uh, Kruger as your main tank for the defense um, break. Then you want one or two healers and uh, two or three DPS. So mainly Kruger, Smokey and then three DPSs. Or two, B two DPSs and Rainier. That would be the ideal. So um, this time we might actually survive to the end. Let's see how we do. Uh, the Coco 45% damage reduction might help us stay alive till the end. And yeah, look at that. We're actually we might actually be our high score, um, but not really. So 10.5 million. I think maybe it's higher than our last time. Okay, rank nine still. I'm happy we're in the top ten. And yeah, I think um, that's the best we can do so far. And. Um, our high score is 10.5 million, pretty much. I think we could maybe beat it if we get some more RNG. But yeah, guys, um, we're currently in the top 10. And uh, and after this primal boss, there's going to be another one. And the other primal boss will be in... Let me find it quickly. The next one will be in 7 days here. In Veduso Mountains 5 um, and 6. It's in between. So yeah guys, I can't wait for this one and um, I hope this helped you.
and if you enjoyed this video please drop a like and comment your own teams that you are using and yeah let me see if i have some summons just to finish off the video a subscribe would be really appreciated and yeah we have like some uh, recruitments let's see if we can uh, get something special So we got uh, light bearer acorn, another acorn, and another acorn. And from the epic recruitment, we actually need nine for our guaranteed, but I have only eight. Um, I'll get one more later, later today probably. Um, so let's see if we can get anything from these. So we've got another Marily, yes, that's very nice. We need uh, more copies of her to get her to Supreme Plus. Sylvana, not bad. It would be nice to get another Aeron. Yeah, let's just skip these animations quickly. Odi, almost got him at Supreme uh, Plus. Okay, and that's it. Um, we need one more of these uh, letters to get our guaranteed. But yeah, let's quickly go over my uh, resonance and my characters update. So yeah, for OD, for OD we need uh, 10 more copies and then we'll have him at Supreme Plus. So yeah, my EX weapon is plus 5 on him. Um, I think I might... Uh, no, I'll leave, it, I'll leave him at Supreme Plus 5 at the moment. And then our Marily is... Uh, we need 11 more copies for Mythic Plus. So yeah, a little bit uh, of a way to go. And yeah, I think I, if I have been in my Emporium today... Um, yeah, I already grabbed my copy here and... Um, yeah, we're gonna save up and our next... We're gonna try and get Rainier again. And yeah guys, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, please subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!